so I'll do a quick load of wash, even though I don't like going out in public to do that stuff. But my washer is broke. My dryer is not, but my washer is. And I'm debating on whether to buy one or not, which this is a great time to buy stuff, especially used cars and used appliances and furniture. It is so cheap because people are selling it to make their rent and survive. I mean, you can get collector's cars dirt cheap. I mean, wow, it's amazing. In fact, I've got a friend of mine over in Shelly Mart that bought a washer and dryer, the front loader ones that are real nice. Bought those a few weeks ago on Offer Up or Facebook Marketplace or something. And got the two of them for like $300, like brand new. And they worked. Yeah, front loaders. Um, amazing. And, uh, but every time I call one of those deals, it's like a scam. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's amazing these people are not wearing face masks in here. And, uh, this one guy that's doing wash here with Georgia tags, those tourists, uh, has his face mask hanging on his mirror with ju with jewelry and all kinds of other junk on the mirror of his car. And that does you no good. You don't just keep reusing that thing. You're not even supposed to touch the front of it. When you're done wearing it, you need to be washing it immediately. And try not to touch the front of it at all. Because that's the part that sucks in. The sickness... But people don't get it. I saw a girl drop a face mask on the ground today while loading stuff into a truck and then picked it up. So she'll probably wear that again. I mean, I don't get what people don't understand. The whole idea of wearing it is to try to control the germs from going into your nose and mouth. That's why you're wearing it. It's not because it's fashionable. I mean, there's some good things about wearing a face mask. For older people, it makes them look younger. <laughs> you don't have to wear makeup. It attracts to your eyes. So if you're not getting eye contact from people, then you know they're lying anyway. But it's a little bit rainy here and there today because of the some hurricane passing through, I guess. But yeah, it's still a lot of tourists. Unfortunately, I think we really hate them here in Florida now, this year. It's like, we'd rather they take their money and go back home. They've got everybody way too sick. They don't care. They don't want to do social distancing. They don't want to wear a mask, even when it's the law in a lot of the counties. They just made it law in Pensacola. But these tourists still don't get it. They cuss and throw fit and abuse people in stores. But look, let me tell you the solution. Go back to where you came from. You come in a store and you can't respect the other people. And you might be sick and just going through and spreading it all over with everything you touch and, and all that. Uh, it's better you just go back home. You want to be a killer? Go to jail. That's where you belong. You belong on death row yourself. I don't care what your damn excuse is. This is serious. It's deadly, man. It just, it's beyond me how people can be so stupid. I was at Joanne Fabrics the other day, and I was like in the back of the store, and you could hear some woman yelling at the staff. From the front end of the store, which the store was posted. This is a mask store. Please do not enter unless you wear a face mask. And she's yelling at the staff. I don't have to wear one. It's not the law. You can't make me wear one. And she's just all over the store like a freaking crackhead. Just everywhere. And her hair was all fried like she was a crackhead. You know, your hair tells a lot. It really does. It tells if you're sick. It tells if, if if you're not healthy. It tells a lot. 
but it was horrible because she hung around there for the longest time. And everybody in the store, including the workers there, everybody had a mask on. And she didn't care about social distancing either. It was just like, I was surprised they didn't call the police on her. Because you have the right to refuse service, that's for sure. It's not worth a thousand dollar purchase for somebody like that. It just isn't. This stuff's deadly. You know? And like I say, you know, if you don't like it, go back to where you came from, for sure. If you can't be respectful, go back to where you came from because I bet you came from a place that had a ton of that sickness. And that's why you're here. You know? It's just amazing how people, you know, it makes you wonder. I mean, you know, I had a point of, of people, the way they talk or whatever they do, of, of like a point of suicide, and they'll lock you up for it, you know. But what about murder? People just want to go around committing murder. It's sad. They'll lock you up for it in Pecola, and they'll lock you up for it in Mary Esther now, and a lot of cities in, in Florida. So. What's weird is a lot of the bars now have figured out, which I knew this to begin with. They figured out recently, in the past couple weeks, that if they served food, got a food permit, that they could open. Like some of these restaurants do that have bars in their restaurants. And they are just insane. It is creating a lot of havoc. And the thing is, the crowds indoors is your biggest problem. You know, I got a girlfriend of mine that's got a roller skate rink in California. And I've got a friend of mine that used to be my boss years ago that has an ice skating rink out in Harbor City, too. Irwin. And uh, I don't know what's going on in his place. I do know that her place is closed for the sickness. And it's sad. And she has a lot out front. I would have opened that front lot and made it outdoor skate. And limited the people. You know, just talk classes or something. But she might have got that government financing so she can afford to stay closed. I don't know. But uh, it's a shame. There's so many businesses going out. There's big names, everything going out. They just can't make it through this mess since March. And all the government funding's all jacked up. The craziest thing is is the is the stimulus checks. Now, uh, I wasn't even paying attention because I'm not one for the news. I I can't. It's so depressing. I can't do news. For years, I've been like that. And uh, uh, I didn't find out till later they were giving out these Corona checks and stuff. And I'm gonna tell you, it is amazing that they wanted people to stay home. For a few months. And then. The government should have been dishing out the money. You know what I mean? They should have been dishing out the money for that. They should have been paying money for you to go take the test. And. Uh, um, they should have immediately rescued businesses. That were able to operate. And those unable to operate. They should have assisted them. With even at least half of their normal revenue it's just so sad so I just don't know I do know that Florida suing to keep the schools from reopening. And um, my baby sister teaches in another state. And um, they were having talks and that. And I told her a month ago, I said, it's not worth dying. I said, you can afford to retire now. Or I would sue them if they try to make you go back to work. And she's like, well, we're in meetings. So they're deciding what they want to do. 
Now they have like all year round school there and they've been doing it on the computer all this time. And granted, there's a lot of kids that are unsupervised that are very, very, very young. And she even knows it. And I'm like, God, why don't you report it? They're in danger because they're, you know, like four and five years old and stuff. And she's like, why? She's like, all I do is teach. And, and, and I said, but they're just too young to be unsupervised. And she said, people have to work. So because the daycares are closed, the schools are closed, there's parents that have jobs and need the income to support their families because the government ain't going to do poop or it'll take too long for them to do anything. And uh, so uh, what should you do? Should your family starve? Or should you work and pray to God your kid is bright enough not to open the door for a stranger or set the house on fire? What do you do? When I was young, they, they used to leave us alone. Yep, we wore a key around our neck on a chain. We got in big trouble. We lost the house key when we went to school. You know, that's the way it was done. But they changed it later. I guess around the 80s is when they really changed it. And they didn't want kids under certain ages left alone. But I can see why. I, I'm glad because my kids weren't real crappy bad. Like some of these other people's kids. Oh my gosh. They'd be hanging from the chandelier. They're so bad. I couldn't have kids like that. I didn't do it when I was young and my kids didn't do it. They were usually pretty good. I had one little girl only spanked her one time ever in her whole life. And she like had a nervous breakdown over it. Oh my God, I got a spanking. And people were laughing going, man, I had my butt whipped all the time by my parents. You're so lucky. She's just really good. Outrageously good girl. She didn't even cry till she was two. Now she got a sister that cried since the day she was born and is still crying today. <laughs> <laughs> She never grew out of it. <laughs> Kids, they're funny. So I was watching a friend of mine's channel. And on his commercials. And no, it's not you, Uberman Tampa. This guy's commercials was all Trump commercials. Vote for Trump. And, uh. This guy's such a hater of Trump, he will delete you if if you say anything good about Trump on his channel. And he will delete you and throw a hissy fit. And really, that's your business, whatever you prefer. It's like, who you want to vote for, whatever is your business. And, and it's your choice. It's just like if I like white cars and you like red cars, I can't hate you for that. That's your choice. That's your taste. Everybody's got to be different. If everybody was the same, it'd sure be a boring life if we were all the same. Variety is the spice of life. Don't ever forget that. Learn something new every day. So you feel like you're doing something to enrich yourself. Look, I found vitamin C. Big chewable vitamin C's today, which is really good for the sickness and really good for uh, your teeth and gums and a lot of things, but really good for the sickness if you can boot up on that vitamin C. And um, when I was a kid, I used to take about 2,000 a day, uh, as for my dad and the doctor. Um, because I was not a big fan of orange juice. It's real acidy and I throw it up sometimes. But I could do orange Julius. Because they thin it out I guess. But uh. They had a, a huge bottle of it. For like $5.94 at Walmart today. Or the chewy ones. Which they're like candy. They're really nice to take. 
I have trouble now on big vitamins. I have trouble swallowing them, and I never used to. But I do now, so... I feel like go back to the chewable ones and see if I can do those too, because... I'm, I'm one of those that takes vitamins like people eat peanuts. I take them all day long every day. I've got them on a turntable in my kitchen. i got them in my cars. They're just everywhere. And, uh, uh, I, um, I'm always taking a, a vitamin. When I pass by the vitamin bottle, I'm taking one. And it really helps with the sickness. If you can get up on your vitamins, it's super important. Keep your body up. People are forgetting to eat and they eat balanced diets and all that. So the vitamins really do help. And generally you pee away what you don't use. You don't want to overdose on them, but just the stuff you don't use, they usually pee it away anyway. A lot of water, a lot of vitamins. Vitamin C is real good though. If you're trying to make your hair grow, vitamin E is outrageous. If you take vitamin E every day, your hair just grow, grow, grow. This is not a bad day. It's kind of a nice little rainy day. It's not terrible. And it's probably about that time that I need to check on this laundry real quick. I'm not one to leave laundry alone because I had a bunch stolen years ago in California in like two minutes. It was horrible. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one.